Quilters Cecilia. HQ, Windmill Sewing Center, and Sewing Machines Express. The websites are quiltershq.com, windmillsewingcenter.com, and qhq, the number two, dot com. We do this every Tuesday from 6 to 7 Central. That's the disembodied head that you're always <laughs> hearing. That's Robert. So our new fun tool is the dog ear clipper, and we're going to try it out, but our block is on the website. This is block 16, and there's some snowballing in this one, so I'm going to go ahead and do those. I took my handy little sewing machine guide off, and I'm going to do all of the snowballs. So I'm sewing it out of order from what Moda's saying, but I'm going to do all of those, and then I'm going to put my um foot back on and i am going to draw some lines on here where'd it go and i'm just going to use this for a guide so i can get these straight and so there's two patches that we have to do this to the center piece and then the um, rectangles have a different one. I'm just gonna oops. Make sure I move that side, the one that's cut off. Hey Kathy, how are you? And we'll see if I can sew in a straight line without a guide. It's unlikely. But we're gonna give it our best. Hey Mary, how are you? And so these just go on here like this, fabric pretty side up. And the glue goes. I need to get the pad a little bigger. Let's make sure it's set right. Okay, we are good. Oops, there went off. I even threaded. So Karen said it's a beautiful evening, which it is. And it really is nice tonight. It really is. The weather's been really mild here. Yeah. My son was telling me we're supposed to get rain thunderstorms tonight. Do you know? Is that true? I think it's uh, tomorrow, actually. Or Thursday. Sorry, Thursday, I think is what he said. Thursday. Okay, you guys got to stop. <laughs> you can't be... <laughs> Jackie, around with what me. did she say? My new tool I've been doing, been doing tonight is amazing tape, putting it around each of my embroidery threads so that I don't have threads everywhere. Okay, interesting. That is, um, that's the Velcro. Yeah. I think. Barb said, hello from Northwest Ohio. A little cold up there today, 80. So, okay, you're back, you're back in there in the springtime. 80? Like today, but it was cold oh. yesterday. We Jeez. had that too. Like full on summer here. It kind of felt that way, and then it kind of tapered back off. So. Your foot ran away. I, yeah, it does, doesn't it? It's just like, did you find it? I found it. I'm just here to help. Appreciate that. Okay, and then these get just chopped off. I am going to use my quilter select ruler and just kind of, it doesn't have to be a perfect quarter inch seam. Hey Beth, welcome to the show. You just said great idea on the amazing tape. Has anyone else used the amazing tape? Well, what other cool tips and tricks do you have? Yeah. Hey, Georgia, how are you doing? You know, Georgia would be a good person to come to our... Well, she's doing some embroidery, embroidery right? Georgia, you working event. on some embroidery? Yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to use our... 
Dual. Little, little doohickey there. Doohickey. What's the real name of it? Multifunction finger presser tool. I would love to be sitting in the marketing meeting when they named that one. Well, clearly they were having margaritas. Yeah, definitely margarita day. There we go. So that's that portion of our block. And then these little uh, rectangles have the four inch squares. These also have that same method of snowballing. I don't know what the real term is for it. I call it snowballing. Oops, scared it on the wrong side. Uh, so what block number is this? Do this is block number 16. 16. And if anybody's interested, we have two kits left. It is kind of a handy little straight edge. Nice. Then I said they're flippy corners. Flippy corners. That is a quilting term. Along with doohickey, whatchamacallit, thingamajig. <laughs> and we could go on and on. Yep. This is kind of an easy construction method for, for doing these. Um, many of you have AccuQuilt like me. And that does this for you. Dog ears all of this. But sometimes we want to make a pattern and there's no compatible AccuQuilt die. And then we're going back to what seems like the dark ages. <laughs> I did design a new quilt for AccuQuilt that we probably won't do in club, but I will publish. So um, these... You need four sets going one way, so I'm just going to count them off, four, and four sets going the other way. I can do two, and I'll just show you the difference. I don't want to know how much the kit is. Um, the kits are $5 each month. I think that's right. Well, if Carrie's on, she'll let us know. Well, Jackie said it's not a Velcro, but it's a clear plastic. It sticks to itself. Oh. But you can use it over and over. So that's probably why they call it amazing tape. That would be cool. So Joan was asking Jackie if you have to stretch it a little bit. Inquiring minds want to know about the amazing tape. Okay, so that's my scissors. I think I can do this faster with just because these are so small. So you just clip them down the middle. Yeah. Well, not down the middle, just off the oh. the side, sort of down the middle. So you need two sets for each, two sides for each. And so they're kind of mirrored. So you need four of each of these. So just pay close attention when you're doing those so that you get enough going each direction. Turn that around so it doesn't get stuck down in the needle hole. No, it's hard to believe that we're approaching the third week of April. I know. Where does the time go? Does anyone know? There is only now. That's, That's all that right. really matters. There is only now. This is true. One more this way. 
So we do have a giveaway tonight, right? We do. Nice. We have a show and tell, too. Well, it's not a show and tell. It's a quilt kit. Oh, it's the kit and... Okay. Nice. It's a new kit available in the store. It's cute. It is a really cute quilt. And so I need these to go the other way. So Dana said, is there instruction sheets for block number 13 and 14? Yes, they're all on the website. Peggy <laughs> said it'll be Christmas soon. Okay, now that's pushing it a little bit, Peggy. Yeah, let's not stretch. Let's not bring that <laughs> I on need, I need sooner. at least a summer with some sunshine. <laughs> no doubt. Got to work on my tan a little bit. That of line wasn't very straight, be. but we're going to use it anyway. Okay. So I'm just doing these so I don't get confused with my pieces. Hey, Linda, how are you tonight? And so these are going to be on this side. Peggy said, I'm trying to think ahead. Thinking ahead? Are you already shopping for Christmas? There, Dana, we posted the link in there, so you should be able to click on that. Okay. Pieces laid out. Let's go ahead and just piece them. Let's check before I piece them. Yep, that's right. Racer. I sew straighter when I sew faster. It's like riding a bike. There you go. When you're going slow, you're wobbling all over. Yeah. Gotta pick up speed. Uh oh, Kitty's got three Christmas quilts. She needs to get quilted. You can send those to us and we will do it for you. Okay. Somebody quilted a kaleidoscope quilt. That's kind of cool. Send pictures. We'll yeah. post them on our Facebook page and yeah. Instagram. Okay, those are done. So the, the first step, which I just jumped past because I had my guide off. So next step for me is to reattach my little quarter inch seam guide here. If I can, there we go. I think we had a couple of people get these last week, so I'm just lining it up kind of, sort of, with my quarter inch guide on the plate. And then I'm going to put my ruler in just right under, if I can find the quarter inch mark. There we go. And just centering on that with centering the needle on there, and then I'm going to tighten these down. And these don't have to be super tight. Thank you. And you do have to rotate which screw you're tightening down because when you tighten one down, the other one gets loose and you have to tighten the other one down. There we go. So we are set. So we need to make our quarter square triangles, which have those cut out. And this is where we're going to use the um, clipper tool. But I'm going to sew all of these together and then we can look at it. I think I'm doing this right. Yep. Just double check your work. Double check your work always. Measure twice, cut one. 
<laughs> I wish that was how we did it every single time, but you know, I've had to cut twice a couple of times. We've all been there and done that. We have. Twice. Probably a couple times on this project. off a little bit, but Joan, I think you crested the uh, top of the summit the other night. Which was? You conquered the fabric mound. Oh, yeah. This was a milestone. This in was the a sewing huge milestone. So, so little bells go off and these little streamers <laughs> come out of the walls when this happens. If you've ever moved your sewing room, you should uh, post. You should post. And tell us about it. Because I've heard some stories and... Hello, Debbie. How are you? Welcome to the show. So this tool, this is the dog ear clipper, and these retail for $9.99. There is a little instruction thing on here. And so what they're for is this little part that sticks out. And so the technique here is you just line it up with your seam. Turn it the right way. Line it up with your seam and this edge with the edge of your piece. And then just chop that little corner off and then when you open it, you have a perfect corner instead of this. So there's the difference and that's what this little dog ear clipper tool does. I think I like it. Nice, yeah, you've been using it there. And yeah. It seems to be pretty. So this one I'm just gonna chop off right there. We'll do the rest of these. You know, it's really handy, especially when, you know, when you're doing the um, quarter square triangles like this, you get to go back and do this again. So Carrie said when you put all of your stash away, hmm. that will be nice. That will be nice. Each little nook and cranny of the sewing room. It's going to be pretty cool, though. I think it will be um, pretty nice. Should be able to do some go lives there. Yes, I actually had them install a outlet in the ceiling so we can hook up cameras and do some little go lives. And of course, one of them I pieced the wrong way. I knew it when I happened. You probably saw my face scrunch up and you go, why did I do that? I did actually. <laughs> Yep, that was this piece right here. I'm like, why did I flip that over? If I can get enough on this, I can just pull it out. Hi, Patty. How are you tonight? Welcome hey. to the show. You want me to get the, the super seam ripper where I just... <laughs> what happened? 
happened to the electric <laughs> scene rippers that we had? Uh, I don't know. We're supposed to d- demo and give an opinion on those. I think they may be in Carrie's office somewhere. She's going to chime in here in a second. One of them looked like a, I don't know, a beard trimmer or something. It, that's what it reminded <laughs> me of was a beard trimmer. Working on UFOs. Yeah. Let's see. It's time. Okay. We got a lot of comments coming in here. So we got. Uh, I'm not exaggerating. I found a stack of UFOs like this tall in my sewing room, just in different little hidey ho- holes. And, you know. Uh, this would be the sewing room that's at home. Yep. This is my home sewing room. And uh, we got working on UFOs, scrappy quick, multicolor, white background, burning's working on. That sounds pretty cool. Okay, now let's close. What's the thread for April? April is cinnamon sugar. Oh, it's one of my favorites. Yes. Let's see here. We've got color number four, six, Five six. Molly's gonna post it, and here it is. It's kind of got. It's variegated. It's pretty cool. It is and color. look at this. We have these boxes back in stock, oh, and you can put your thread in it and organize it. Those boxes. Oh are my just goodness! They're pretty so small. Compact, very sturdy, too. They are. So, I mean, and they look, the thread looks great in there. Mm-hmm. And you can see what you got. I'm excited. Okay, so overall. A log cabin. I think this clipper tool is a win. And if you want one, we got a few of them in because I wanted to try it out and see if it was worth worth it. I think it is. I mean, my corners are really nice and does a really nice job. So, if you want one of these, comment, make it mine, dog ear clipper. They're $9.99. Let us know whether you want to pick it up or have it shipped to you. Um, There's probably not enough for everybody watching to get one, but if we run out, we'll just order more and get it to you. So, we're going to alternate. We're going to make quarters quarter square triangles into a square yeah that sounds right so we're just going to nest these seams and piece these together and then we get to use that tool again dog ear clipper dog ear clipper thank you And then we're going to start piecing our block together. Which, again, when we start piecing this block, we do have to keep kind of close attention to... Hey, Virginia, how are you? Um, which direction those tri- rectangles are facing. So I'm taking a little bit of time. Like he's working on LCNS. What's an LCS? I don't know. Jackie, tell us what an LCS is. Virginia Paul, how's the weather up there, Virginia? Last one. Peggy's working on a log cabin. Bernie was saying she always wanted to make a log cabin. I love doing log cabins. I really like some. Such great scrap busters. I really love doing log cabins with AccuQuilt. We should do a demo on that. We should. When I get to the new place, maybe I'll do it from the house. Because 
I don't use the um, log cabin die. I use the one and a half inch strip die. So much better, so much faster. Because I like my log cabins to be really scrappy. And I'm not exaggerating. You can cut out a king size log cabin in about an hour, if that. And it's great for those pieces of with the fabric that, um, so we got a lot of comments coming in. So Peggy said she was scared of the log cabin, but she's having a lot of fun with it. Oh, it's a lot of fun. Virginia said it's cold up there in the upper Northwest. Bernadine would love the demo on the log cabin. So that would, she would probably tackle one. It's super easy. And then your pieces. So like I've seen, I don't know how they do it. I couldn't, I couldn't do it. I am probably not a good enough sewer to do it. So I've seen people do it with jelly rolls. I don't know how they do it because it's stretchy. So when you cut it out using the method that I use, all your pieces are on the straight grain so they don't stretch as you're sewing. So you're, you can tell if your block is starting to be off a little bit really quickly. Look how nice these turned out using this. That's yeah, nice they came out really out. well, like, yeah. Perfect. All the corners are just perfect, and I don't have to sit and, you know, use my scissors and chop them off. That's the dog ear clipper. Dog ear clipper. Is that the actual name of it? Yep, dog ear clipper tool. Dog ear clipper tool. Dog ear clipper tool. Decked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we got to have acronyms in quilting, you know? We do. Sewing, garment construction. Okay, I'm just laying these out so that my seams are all facing the same direction. So these go together with, they're all going to have, this attaches to the pink side. And they're all like this. So these little corners point away from the pink. So I'm just going to sew all of these on. Making sure that seam's nested down there at the bottom. Nice. Seems like my piece is a little bit smaller than my block. Let's just measure my block. So it should be a four and a half inch square. So it should be exactly the same size as this. Is this four and a half? Where's my ruler? These are three and a half. These should be three and a half as well. And I came up with three and a quarter. It happens. And that's a little bit more than I want to fudge. So let me just make sure I got my cutting instructions right. Four and a quarter. I bet I didn't. I bet I cut these to four and a half. But that's okay. We can trim these down. I just need a seam upper. Um, yeah, possibly. Oh, even better. I'll use my little clippy tool here. I'm glad I found it now instead of after I sewed all these pieces together. <laughs> I think he actually went to go find the electric seam ripper. I don't know if you can hear it, but there was like a little bit of a chuckle from there. From Carrie's office. Uh, 
Okay, so if my piece, this is the, we're doing quilt math here. If my piece is four and a quarter and I need it to be three and a half. How much am I off? Not much. It's an eighth. Yeah. That's the nifty notions one. And surprise, surprise, Wall makes one, too. Don't I do they believe do they right? make just regular, you know, hair clippers and beard trimmers and such. I think they and do. And they're all about the same. Well, I don't think we're going to need it. So. Yeah, this one needs batteries, so. That one uses batteries? They both do. They almost look identical. So, I don't know what was going on in development there, but look at that. Hmm. Do you think it's kind of like sometimes how sewing machine manufacturers make machines for somebody else? He made it. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to play like Bob and Chicken here. And Ooh, Bob and Chicken. I'm going to trim off like an eighth of an inch. So, this is the wall one. This is the Nifty Notions Seam Ripper. Looks like someone has tried that one out or something. I think we did. We tried them out on the show, didn't we? Did we try this one out, though? I don't think we had this one yet, the wall. So, don't know the price on those guys, but... Uh, yeah. So, now there's going to be a mass rush... Ladies going in and stealing, you know, their husband's uh, beard trimmer, and it has now been confiscated to become a seam ripper. I'm just going to go. Feasible. I'm just going to go on record and say I'm okay with that <laughs> because there's there's got to be a little bit of payback. Oh look, that's good um, for you know going in and getting the wrong scissors. Just gonna say. I'm thinking, yes, do not use the wrong scissors. That's a, that's a thing. That is a thing. Happened to me last Christmas. <laughs> not that I'm bringing up old stuff, but. Uh, that was, uh, you know, that was an accident of convenience. Uh-huh. It was convenient for you. It wasn't really convenient for me. Let me just it was a, you know, accident of convenience. So a uh, shout out to uh, Nifty Notions here uh, for the uh, seam ripper. Mm -hmm. There we go. I'm like, oh my gosh, I and cut that too small, but I was putting it on top of the wall for their trimmed. little seam ripper. Mm-hmm. Uh, these might work for scissors next year too. <laughs> for uh, cutting your wrapping paper. Uh, is there a price difference? Good question. I highlight the sizes because I've made the same mistake before, Joan. So. Oh, on these blocks? Yep. Yes. So I don't know if Carrie remembers what the price was on the uh, seam rippers, but I would guess they're pretty close. They're pretty. They seem neck and neck on this. They're probably about the same price. I'm just getting these small enough that I can just fudge my seams because, you know, fabric stretches. And it's always an eighth of an inch when you're on the. bias here or on the untrimmed edge. And this is not the first time I've done this with this pattern. So let me lay these out again. Okay, now we're back on track and we're still good for time. And these pieces all point to the outside. So here we go. Let's start again. Oh, that's much better. There's no 
Where's that scene right there? Rip out those sewing mistakes in a jiffy. In a jiffy. Isn't that a popcorn? Yeah. Jiffy pop. Jiffy Put the pop one popcorn. in the little, uh, the little aluminum thing, and aluminum. then the aluminum blows up. And yeah, I believe it is. <laughs> I'll tell you though. This is the best time-saving tool that there is. And then these go on this side, so our pieces look like this. Jiffy Pop, yes. Back in the days before microwave popcorn. It was. We had the one with Grandpa, had the one with the little stirring handle. Yeah? Yep. So you put the oil down in it, you put your corn in there, and then there was a little handle. The lid sealed onto the pan, and then you just mm -hmm. turn this little thing, and inside there was like a little wire going around and around to keep those corns moving but, so they would all pop evenly yeah, yeah. we had one like that too it was um yellowish kind of orangish color <laughs> somebody said that was a redneck fire alarm <laughs> <laughs> this is what it was uh, i'm assuming that might have been the jiffy pop <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm sure there were a few dorm <laughs> fires for those because people would use them to cook in barracks, and I know they did them in college because they got really hot, so you could, you yeah. know, heat up your spaghetti and all kinds of stuff. So I'm going to sew the white squares on two of these. <laughs> yeah, I think that... Grandpa just had us do that because to keep us busy, right? While we're waiting for the popcorn, we would not, you know, get antsy because we're still to uh, turn the thing. Oh, busy work. Busy work, right. You just make it in a pot and shake it. You keep shaking it. This one was cool. It had a wooden handle or a wooden knob on it, and it was truly wire, and it, it was pretty cool. I can smell the popcorn now. Everybody can. So that's a one, a word association, right? So we should not talk about popcorn. People are going to leave to go make popcorn. <laughs> well, everybody should have their popcorn before the show, right? It's a movie. You got to get your popcorn ready. Well, get your sewing machine out. For sure, you should have popcorn because it's live and you never know what's going to happen. <laughs> I mean, the phone has rang. Scammers have been on the phone. <laughs> I'm telling you, next time we get one of those scammers, I'm going to answer. We're going to put them on live. We're going to put them on live. The best one I saw was this lady, and she had that broadcast voice, and they were like, what's your credit card number? And she goes, four, three, two, you are live on <laughs> Channel 4 News, and we're on with the FBI. <laughs> and the guy hung up. You had a good one, too. Oh, yeah. You were asking the guy. So she got one the other day, and she's asking the guy about the weather. No. Was it, it was the weather? The, it was the, the flat earth. Um, oh, yeah. The flat earth. P 
people thinking that the earth is flat. I had no idea how people get to that, but... And he was that, and what did he say to you? He was like, so so people call us all the time. Credit card processing fees are um, like a money center for banks and stuff. So they call all the time about doing changing our credit card processing. But with our with our point of sale, it's integrated, and they don't really integrate with anybody else. So he was like, and I'm like, no, you can't do it, you know, and so he just kept talking. And so I just said, okay, well, what do you think of the flat earth people? How do they get to that? And he's like, why would you ask me a question like that? And I'm like, well, I thought we were wasting each other's time. (laughs) So he hung up on me. But that's kind of my goal is to, you know, get him to hang up because I don't know. Maybe it's, I don't know if it's mean or if it's just, I don't know. So Barb still has one of these popcorn poppers. It's called the Stir Crazy. Stir Crazy. Okay, this is going to be a cute block. So I don't know if it's mean. Maybe it is, but. Well, you truly, I mean, you said no. I did say no. Actually, I said no a couple times, but, you know. No is no. If nothing else, he had something to talk about over his dinner (laughs) with his family. The flat earth thing? (laughs) It was a crazy lady. She was asking me this crazy question. It's like... There was a guy, his name was Tom May. And he made all these videos. I think they're YouTube, maybe. Um, Might be YouTube. But, I mean, he would get telemarketers calling. And whatever it was, he could just come up with a spiel. Like, just off the top of his head. And they were just crazy stuff. Like, one of them was, like, for carpet cleaning. And so he was pretending he just committed a murder <laughs> and asking the guy that had called what size shoe do you wear <laughs> he's like there's blood everywhere <laughs> but okay so i'm going to attach the last pieces and not talk about prank calls because we might get some <laughs> that said she got one and she just basically mirrored the questions back to him so what's your social security number well what's yours <laughs> well what's your birthday well what's yours yeah my goal is to get him to hang up and put me on their do not call list because you can ask they won't but if you're like wasting their time and it's clear maybe they'll <laughs> stop calling <laughs> But I also get that, you know, some people are making a living doing yeah, that. Yeah, it's a job, right? So I try not to be mean about it. I'm just, you know. It's the scammer ones, though, that are yeah. trying to steal your information. I don't feel that you got to give them any kind of... Oh, no. No courtesy whatsoever. Yeah, they, 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 don't, they don't get it. So. The ones that, oh, this is Microsoft. <laughs> Microsoft is never going to call you. Ever. Unless you open a ticket with them. And then it's... 50-50. Last piece. I'm calling this one a win. Nice. You had to do a little bit of trimming. Yay. Test, we didn't test the seam rippers out, but... We did not. We we'll probably have an opportunity <laughs> next week. I think this is going to be cool. I mean, this block came out really cool. Yeah, I like it. And we got just enough time to do the, the giveaway. giveaway and yep. the kit. Show the kit, right? Yep. Well, you do have time to do that. So, and there we go. I'll do a really good press on it later, but this is all my little trimming. Light all that out of the way. And there's our finished block. Oh, that looks really cool. I think I like this yeah. block. Yeah, I do too. You could use that with like multiple colored fabrics. 
So that's us for tonight. Thank you for joining us. And as always, check your thread path, oil your hook, and change your needle. Please, those will solve 90% of your issues. Yep. For sure. Good night. And maybe try out the uh, amazing tape. The amazing tape. Like that. So. And the dog ear clipper dog tool. Dog ear clipper tool, yes. That's a new tool tonight. Thank you.